It might be a bird or a plane, but what it actually is, is a person with a flying machine. With the technology we have right now, humans now are able to freely explore the air as flying technology are progressing as years go by. If you are interested as to how far humanity has gone with our technology in flying machines, please keep on watching. I am Maya, and this is my channel Stuffbox Tech. For this video, I will be showing you the top 13 unique flying machines you never even thought existed. These machines will surely leave your jaw dropping and would want you to try them out yourself as well. At the bottom of our list, we have Omni Hoverboard. The accomplishment of creating the first flying hoverboard attracted attention unlike anything they could have ever expected, from American TV ads to Japanese primetime TV. They fly for some of the biggest audiences in the world, from the carnival in Rio de Janeiro to the final cups of various nations. A frame with eight underslung rotors, a pair of snowboarding boots, and a straightforward hand throttle constructed from modified pliers make up the Omni hoverboard. In contrast to other gadgets like the Flyboard Air or certain jetpacks, the Omni hoverboard doesn't have any sophisticated technology. Even a DJI drone is simpler than this monstrosity. A true flight controller, an automatic stabilizing mechanism, a gyroscope, and an accelerometer are absent from the hoverboard. Body movements are used to execute the maneuvers, much like on a skateboard or snowboard. Next on our list is Copter Pack. An electric backpack helicopter with a self-leveling autopilot is called Copter Pack. The carbon honeycomb airframe is made to be lightweight. The distinctive feature of Copter Pack is that your body merges with the helicopter. The early stages of Copter Pack's development are presently underway. The prototype's most recent tethered test allowed for an assessment of the flight dynamics and aircraft stabilization. A copter pack, a future creation, just made its inaugural flight on an Australian beach and left a big impression. It is propelled by a rotor and motor from a helicopter that are fastened to a person's back. They can utilize it to fly at low altitudes while wearing it and moving around on the ground. Next is the Hoverbike Scorpion S3. Scorpion is a single passenger, altitude restricted quadcopter hoverbike that was originally intended to be funded through crowdfunding. The Scorpion has a range of 21 kilometers, a top speed of 69 kilometers per hour or 43 miles per hour, and a top height of 4.6 meters. Depending on the cargo, the flying time ranges from 15 to 40 minutes. The flying time might be as little as 15 minutes if the passenger is quite heavy and it could be 40 minutes if the hoverbike simply has a light camera system. The pilot of the hoverbike can set any desired altitude using the LiDAR technology, and the hoverbike will maintain that altitude. Number 10, Lift Aircraft Hexa. A single passenger, wingless multi-copter ultralight with all-electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL. The Lift Hexa, formerly known as the Hexa, is primarily designed for tourism and short-distance transport. Robert Kovacs, a native of Hungary and the designer of the Hexa aircraft, was born there. The Hexa is a single-passenger amphibious modular EVTOL multi-copter aircraft that can land on both land and water. The aircraft includes 18 electrical motors installed on a motor strut assembly that resembles a web of six inward-pointing sectors, with 12 outer and six inner electrically driven propellers, each of which is separately controlled. As a result, the pilot has exceptional visibility and can manage the aircraft by changing the speed of each propeller's unique motor. Several battery packs power the airplane. Number 9, Kitty Hawk Heaviside. After ceasing development on another single-seat design known as the Flyer, Heaviside currently appears to be the major focus of Kitty Hawk's efforts to construct an EVTOL personal air vehicle. The California-based corporation has continually declined to offer any details regarding the timetable for the all-electric aircraft's development. As part of the reorganization to concentrate solely on the Heaviside project, it let go of 70 employees in June 2020. Number 8, Zapata Flyboard Air. A turboprop board with unmatched mobility is the Flyboard Air. The Zapata firm built this machine as a demonstrator with the intention of showcasing our technology to the general public at various air shows. The smallest redundant airplane ever made is the Flyboard Air. This vehicle can fly even if one of its engines fails. The pilot will execute a controlled landing in the event that it loses two engines. 
However, Frankie Zapata and his group keep testing the board and enhancing its functionality and appearance. The Zapata firm is the sole owner, and the inventor is the only rider. Aviation safety regulations are met, thanks to its sophisticated stabilizing system and the redundancy of its propulsion, control, and stabilization systems. Number 7, Opener Blackfly. At Opener, they put safety first while designing a new aircraft. The aircraft offers a new method to fly with confidence since it is equipped with triple modular redundant flight systems, control surfaces, and sensors. With over 4,000 payload flights, 109,000 endurance flight cycles, equal to 139 Earth circumnavigations, and 500,000 extreme punch test cycles for the propulsion system, this machine has undergone extensive testing. Number 6, Alauda Airspeeder. According to the firm, there have been motorsports ever since there have been automobiles, and a new era of transportation is beginning. Multicopters, beautiful simplicity, practicality, widespread use, and the rapid advancement of robotics are enabling new, groundbreaking applications. The airspeeder's design was inspired by British Formula One race cars from the 1960s. With the airspeeder, Alauda is setting the standard for future motorsport racing. The airspeeder's principal objective is to hasten the development of electric flying vehicles by placing them in a competitive setting. Number 5, Jetson 1. This is the $92,000 Jetson 1, it is a vertical takeoff and landing personal helicopter. Jetson says it can fly for a full 20 minutes with an 85 kg pilot on board, on single recharge at a top flight speed of 64 miles per hour or 102 km per hour. The speed is limited by software for safety. It is powered by a high-discharge lithium-ion battery. The aircraft will carry a ballistic parachute with a rapid deployment time for emergencies. The Jetson 1 is an electric helicopter that you can own and fly. It might not revolutionize personal transportation, but it will definitely give you a fun ride. Number 4, Jetpack JB-10. With the exception of increased fuel capacity and thrust as well as more advanced computer engine controls and pilot displays, the JB-10 and JB-9 are essentially identical. It can run on kerosene, jet fuel, or diesel. The JB-10 is propelled by two specially adapted turbojet engines that each provide around 200 pounds of thrust, at standard atmospheric conditions. The JB-10 is most recognized for the flights they have conducted in recent years, both domestically and abroad, notably those in support of the Red Bull Air Race competitions. Here is our number 3 unique flying machine, Lazareth LMV-496. The LMV-496 blends classic Lazareth design, cutting-edge elements, and pendular geometry in addition to stellar functionality and personality. The idea, which was influenced by the LM847's original model, adopts the latter's distinctive visual style. The Italian rear buckle, the side of the clothing, and even the carbon wool covers share a shared DNA. The kerosene tank is concealed by a composite body in place of the Italian engine, giving the aircraft a 10-minute flight autonomy. The LMV-496 is an electric motorcycle with a road range of over 100 kilometers. Second to the last of our list is the Gravity Jet Suit. Richard Browning, known as the real-life Iron Man, is an English inventor, entrepreneur, and speaker who launched Gravity Industries in March 2017. The Deadless Mark I serves as the company's foundation. A jet pack that flies vertically by using tiny jet engines. Kerosene engines that can provide 22 kilograms of thrust each are used by the suit. As a result, Browning can manipulate the flight's direction and speed with his arms. The head-up display he wears within the helmet allows him to control the suit by displaying data such as fuel consumption and other information. When the suit attempted to break the record for fastest speed in a body-controlled jet engine-driven suit, it did it at a speed of 32.02 miles per hour or 51.53 kilometers per hour. And on the number one of our list, we have the Jetman, Jetwing. The Jetwing from Jetman Dubai does allow people to fly through the air with stunning ease, though it's not quite an Iron Man outfit. 
The carbon fiber wing, which is propelled by small jet engines, has a top speed of 253 miles per hour, a maximum range of 31 miles, a maximum altitude of nearly 20,000 feet, and a maximum flight time of 13 minutes. In a recent flight in Dubai, Jetman pilot Vince Reffitt reached average speeds of 149 miles per hour and heights of more than one mile. With the ultimate objective of enabling people to have an unmatched experience of the world, the jet wing is still under development. These flying machines surely look sleek and cool. What an awesome journey for our technology to produce these unique flying machines that we never would have expected to happen in a million years. Please tell me in the comments which flying machine you would like to try for yourself. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel, Stuffbox Tech. I'll see you on the next one.